Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 14 of the Novid Notes podcast, where we talk about VR chat creators, world creators, avatar creators, and many more amazing people inside the platform. I'm your host, Novid Player, and with me today is a community leader, community representative of the Little Renegades, Z2. Z, welcome onto the podcast. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. Good, good. So... You know, for those that are listening, you know, kind of briefly explain, you know, what exactly is Little Renegades? Oh, um, Little Renegades is a street gang community that we made in last year, where I made a vow to myself during last year's New Year's is because personally I felt lazy on this platform. And I told myself, like, I want to make something that I'm proud of. So... I did some searching, did some research, got a friend, tried to like throw darts at the wall to see which one stuck. And we made the group, we got the Discord ready and not released until we were able to get the avatars done. And once that was done, we released the Discord, we released the community, and we started going around worlds, doing events, playing events, trying out new things, and Soon enough, here we are a year later, being part of Project Community, and it's just been, it's been a slow but wild ride. Fair enough, fair enough. So, yeah, so you said you're a street gang, so what exactly does that entail? Like, what what are some of, like, the themings around the the gang, the street, the little renegades? Um, our theming is 1992 2000s games. Which you was basically like the so around you know circling around you know street racing culture, you know a lot of gang things. Can can we get to too much detail about that? Cause oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, but we also have very fond inspiration from the Saints Row series. Only the first two games, only the first two games of the series, not the later games. Okay. Okay. I don't think us having I don't think us having a gigantic doodle bat will help anything. Fair, fair. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. So um, you know the the nineties two thousand style, um, which is a very interesting you know concept to have within the VR chat space. You know, because you have you know multiple different types of like um, references to like old pop culture, like g- game consoles, like. Uh, you know, stuff like that. So what made you want to create um, a 90s, 2000s style street gang inside of VR chat? Um, number one, it was just something I wanted to do for a while because during the time I was in LPD and I was very active within the Laser Dome community, tournament-wise and, you know, beer testing community-wise. So... I want to make this group, and a friend, I forgot what his name was, he asked, okay, well, what time am I going off of? And I'm like, well, if we're a street game, we can't be like a futuristic street game, that'd be silly. We can't go too far back, because that then there won't really be a street game. So, we started thinking, and... We looked at Mia. Like I said, we had Spyways here. So we also had Spyways from the Def Jam series. Like, personally, Def Jam 5 in New York, very good game. If you have a PS2 emulator, go try it. A lot of fun. And we take Spyway on that, but with the timeline, I feel like in the, in the roleplay environment right now, there's too, and this is not a job at anyone, there's too much of an extreme of, it's either extra classic, like, 80s to early 90s, or it has to be extra futuristic, like the year 3000 or 2075. And I haven't really found anything besides LPD. There's not really many groups that stay within like the classic modern or just modern day era, aside from like LPD, but that's LPD. So we're mostly classic modern where we're stuck in the 90s and 2000s before electric cars were a thing, you know, and all that stuff. So we have to go for a more classical look. I gotcha. Like, yes, yeah, some aspects might be off. Like, our new a new world that we're working on Warehouse District has more modern Mustangs, but we're not going to question that as VR chat. 
That's fair. <laughs> We're not gonna press it. They're, they're re- like, listen, listen. If, if certain communities can go a little off with their tape, with their theming, that's fine. I don't see anything wrong with that. Absolutely. So with that, you know, you with uh going kind of off theme, you know, what's some like because ve- obviously, you know, no community realistically, right? Because it's the metaverse, no community sticks to a one hundred percent strict theme. So what are some examples of like some of the theme changes you guys may have done? Um, besides like Sonomon cores, we have like lesser guns so we, we allow mostly any guns that are not gonna be like a instant one tap in retrospective like our gun regulations are like for like if you're a thug you have a submachine gun a pistol on your avatar and you know any kind of combat blade um if but if you're a gangster and higher versus like the regular rank you can have anything basically. You just can't. You can't have a bare fifty cow. You can't have a op unless it's like some special thing. Um, no mini guns, none of that. No RPGs. You know, stuff that is like kind of like OP. Yes, we take a spot away to facilitate so, but I don't think we should be pulling um lock on Mr. RPGs out of our asses. Yeah, that'd be that'd be an interesting thing to see, to say the least. <laughs> so yeah, with that, you know, there's there's so many different types of variants of weapons and stuff, you know. Uh, and you said, you know, as some classes have certain weaponry, you know. So let's let's talk a little bit more about that. You know, what inspired these classes? Like, is there a certain um, like certain parameter that you know does it relate to more in game or IRL? About that. Actually, funny story about that. There's actually one RR aspect that um, my co-host, my second command, Creo, pointed out because he knew some stuff about gang life, which is gangs make custom explosives. So as well as you being gangs, you're allowed to have a deplorable explosive in your arsenal because that is actually factual that gang contraband explosives to break into places. I gotcha. Fair enough. I was going to say with, you know, so let's, let's talk about that. You know, it's, it's definitely interesting when it comes to, you know, the, there's so many different types of explosives within VR chat, you know, with how, like, so what do you use certain, um, like assets or do you have like strict, like you, you have to use these ones, like how, explain the process of like your choice of like, Oh, assets. It can really be anything, really. Like, this is VR chat. I've seen a lot of PT officers with different guns and different styles. Like, why even restrict people to a specific model or asset? Like, if some gang member wants to come in and say, Hey, I have a, a lethal needle gun. It's a submachine gun. And this and that. Okay, okay fine. Just say you got it from some sort of company. Or like some sort of laser gun, like like yes, because in retrospect, that's not going to be a guarantee one hit. Like that's fine, that's absolutely fine. Like Saint Sword Three, you know now we based like Saint Sword Three had laser guns, but they weren't like insta kills. They were just little glowy guns that look cool. We, we could have that. We could have little glowy guns. We could have more guns. We could have we could have older guns. There's nothing we really restricted about that. Like the only restriction is just don't be OP with it. Right. No, that makes sense. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about the event side, you know, because obviously, you know, with being a street gang, there's probably some, you know, I don't want, I don't want to say rules, but there's definitely some like aspects of like what it is, you know, when it comes to your events, you know, so what, what exactly entails a uh, little renegades event? Um, we have our usual free warming recruiting events that we try to do. Um, right now, like, events have been very low active, but that's fine. I still host them anyway. I know this weekend I took a weekend off from hosting events. So, because other stuff has been happening also. Lucky you, you got me on my off weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so, we either do mostly that. We do open lives around lobbies open to the public. No matter who comes in, they are always welcome. So, whether it be friends of friends or whatnot. We have driving nights. So, we go to a drive world and drive cars and do whatever. whatever. Personally, sometimes I do pick some need the speed maps by Gentile. 
very good creator. But other than that, we uh what else we have? We got we have our monthly parties. Yeah, we have our monthly parties. We're trying to make it to where we can invite other communities parties, like give them invitations. Because my belief is with stuff like well pretty much in the casual sense. I feel like our us community should be treating each other like neighbors and not competitors. Like we're all in the same universe together. I gotcha, I gotcha. So, you know, with with, with these parties, right? You know, it's you know, essentially it's a, a fun way to get, you know, communities together and have fun, you know. So and I, I definitely respect the idea of, you know, having communities, you know, interact with each other in a friendly way rather than competition. To kind of further question that, you know, what are you said you do like drawing nights and, you know, game nights. So what do you what exactly do you do for these parties? Is it just kind of the same thing? Um, uh, we try to do different words here and there, but like we it's the usual. I find a hour worth of 2090s hip hop and reggae. Put that into the player and just chill. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I was going to say with that, there's so many different types of classic music types when it comes to the 90s, 2000s era. You know, I, I got to ask in your personal opinion, you know, is there a certain artist or a certain song that like, in your opinion, defines like the Little Renegades community in a nutshell? Ooh, shit. Okay, let me check my Spotify. <laughs> The Spotify is coming out for this one. But no, actually, well, on the topic of music, so we can, like, get this keep going. Yes, because one of my things with, like, the vibe is I like people to come in and have that vibe of, like, being back into the thousands, you know. And it's not just, like, hip-hop or reggae or whatever. It's it's everything, you know, new metal, rock. I want people to come in and either listen to the to a Ludacris album or a Three Days Grace album and still feel like they're back in that time. But yeah, there's a lot of artists to choose from, so <laughs> a lot of songs oh, no, to choose from. No, trust me, my 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 spy my Spotify always comes in clutch for these things because my Spotify also helps me envision some of these events or some of these themes. And like one of the things, do you, I need to tell you how like this whole idea clicked in my head. Funny enough, it was just a one night of me playing Def Jam. One of the and classics. Like, had this like how. Yeah, no, just playing, watching a tournament and playing the game. So I was just there like, fuck, midnight, I'll wait a night. Yeah, I'm just like thinking, and I'm thinking about communities, I'm thinking about the LPD, I'm thinking about other certain communities like mafias and whatnot, police departments. And then I, I look back up at my game while I'm playing it, and then I suddenly just like, for three seconds, stop playing the game and be like, wait. Is that a thing in VR chat? So I finished my match. Next day, I go on a one month long research of words and communities. And to, to tell you, I was kind of upset. Is an understatement? Finding out that no one we has a cancer to a street gang community, even though there's who knows how many police departments, who knows how many mafias. And it's like, what was it? I knew. What was that word? Uh, it was like, I was. Concerned, but not concerned, but confused at the same time. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, dumb, dumbfounded. That that yeah, that works. I say so, yeah, it it definitely is a unique style when it comes to a role playing community or community in general. You know, it's one of those like, you, like as you stated, you know, there's plenty of police departments, uh, mafias, and um, you know, there's there's so many different um communities of the same genre um but to have a specifically a 90s and 2000s themed gang street gang essentially you know it's definitely it's definitely yes. a unique one to say the least spotify still giving you trouble <laughs> mm. spotify is making me make hard choices dudes i would say <laughs> i would say what gets me in the vision of a of a street game like Little Renegades? I would say it was Bump Heads by the Eminem shows, like unreleased. It was unreleased song, but I got released on the definitive edition. But there's always a lot of songs to describe, describe a street game. And the, another thing is that I also want it to be based on New York. 
So if I had to line it up with certain artists, it'd be like Jay Z, DMX, West in Peace to him. So when it comes to you know when it comes to that you know you said Def Jam definitely inspired you, um, you know in a way. So what what exactly did you take from Def Jam and incorporate it into Little Renegades? Okay, it's a plan, but it's a plan that can totally work out in the long run. I want to have fight nights in the community. I want to have RP fight nights. Fair. I'll say that'd be a that'd be definitely like, an interesting one. No, I want I want RP fight nights so badly. <laughs> like, but we still need to plan it out. But like Def Jam, like I said, it's a timeline. We have music. Like we play the music. We have the timeline they were in versus the 2000s. Like I said, all those artists in that game were very popular back in the day. And I think that's where we line our like timeline up with that kind of inspiration. It's just not really the gameplay in general, but like the timeline and the characters are in there. I gotcha. I'll say with the, with the whole fight night idea, you know, there's, there's actually some, you know, amazing worlds that, you know, you can definitely use for those fight nights. You know, whether it's like, I granted, I don't know if you want to go into the boxing side, but there's so many different types of boxing worlds. Um, but I'll say, I don't. Well, I I mean, like, if it's saying Def Jam, it just has to be a random location on a map and just people surrounding it as the walls. <laughs> right. Like, literally in a street, you know, like in a back alley, just you know, duking it out. In a place, in a club, in a building, you know, stuff like that. Like, that's uh that's that's like, that's the main thing I liked about Def Jam was the maps. Like just being able to just use the crowd to your advantage and fight in the middle of a building or a middle of a room and just fight out. It was just that's why I want Fight Nights to be is just everybody gathers, two people fight for a little bit. So we're still working on that. Trying to get all the blemishes out. Yeah, of course. No, as uh as I always say, like making quest compatible variants is uh can be very frustrating to say the least. Um and definitely time consuming as well. You know. Um Of course. Because you got you gotta get rid of a lot of things. And just for just for example, like my hat, for example, uh if you look at my avatar and quest side, uh because constraints are not able to be on quest side anymore, I still to this day don't know why. Um but like my hat will just be floating above my head and there's nothing I could do to like, unless I took it in blender oh, and just dear. slapped it on my head for the quest side. Those but... poor, those poor quest kids had to see your waggedy ass hairline. Oh, what dear. do you mean hairline? My hair goes down to my eyes. <laughs> Fair. Damn. The hat's hiding it, dude. <laughs> Damn man, but but yeah. So back to back to the community at hand. Um, so what are what are some examples of like some you know, uh, maybe some community like collaboration events? Obviously, you mentioned you know you guys uh had a booth at PJKT uh at Project Fest. Yes. You know what other what other communities have you guys like you know had events with? Well, we try to make things happen, but stuff gets in the way. But we always try to be open to all communities, even if it's just a party night. Like, any community is always welcomed. But PJK2 was, like, one of my biggest things, because you met other communities that liked our idea. So, like, having, like, just to, like, sit around a booth. And, like, like now with that request compatible, we could probably easily be seen a little more. Because before, I was as a PC only, sadly. So we had to like sit there, introduce ourselves, talk about things, talk to other people, talk to neighboring booths. Gotcha. I was gonna say, you know, because uh, I do remember scrolling through you guys' Twitter, and I, and I've seen it firsthand. Uh, but just recently, you guys have actually gotten a world finally done, um, and developed. Um. So what what essentially like inspired the design? um like of the of the current little renegades map um which one uh the, i believe uh, hi, hi. i think it was the it was the one that we did the the film shoot in for project community yeah no that's our like main state hub that's our pc world um it the thing is again that took us by as well where we take an older looking place 
and make our territory. That's where we get. So we got all the pool tables, we got the cafes, we got everything looking nice for a little bit. But now we're trying to expand out to another world where it's more of a warehouse, it's more of an actual territory than just a little warehouse. So technically you can say we have two worlds, I guess. But I feel like the warehouse once this is gonna be quest compatible can be our mainstay when it's ready. Cause oh boy it is not ready yet. I would say, you know, with worlds, there's always something you can add, you know, and at least in my opinion, you know, there's there's never a fully complete world when it comes to VR chat. You know, there's always oh, yeah, whether it's something complete. minor or major, you know, some something can be added or deleted. Yeah, I was That's gonna... what I was talking to my work here about today. I was talking to him about the links on the mesh colliers on some of the junk on the floor. And I'm like, why the fuck does a piece of a soda can on the collider? <laughs> yeah, I'll say uh, that's something that I've had to deal with too is deleting colliders from my world. Um, just it doesn't even need a collider, you know. It's supposed to be trash. You're supposed to be able to walk oh, on. Oh yeah, it. yeah. Why not we work on it? Because the world we got was for, was meant for FPS, mobile FPSs. So we had to scare down the world with itself because it was freaking huge. Like Nomus has our touch, but small. So we had to scare down the world. We had to scare down the cars. Get rid of the pie plant colliders because it was a mess collar, but it was such a small mess collar for a like a minor design plant that if you touched it it would like it would instant transmission like hit clip you so hard it will send you outside the skybox so we got rid of the cars for that thing so i want to eat people out of the map our next plans is to delete the tree colliders because the tree colliders also have mesh colliders which makes it very clippy and you know you get stuck to them i i was walking around i got stuck to trees like four times there's also some parkour experts in certain trees where you can hop the fence. So we're getting rid of those colliders. We're getting rid of some junk on the floor. Either delete or get rid of the colliders. Cleaning up more parts of the map. To get rid of items. So hopefully that lowers down the size. Yeah, I'll say it's definitely definitely a process and a half to say the least when it comes to you know deciding what should have colliders what shouldn't have you know what should stay what should go why are you here <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is like objects like why are you here are you for real that's another thing it's just like why do we need you here delete it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i was gonna say yeah that 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 question went through my mind like constantly when making my hangout world you know because they're with the with a prefab that i had bought you know it it came with like clutter is it, it in the actual unity it's actually called clutter um and, oh no well no 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 no, no. It, it wasn't like bad it was just like plants and stuff like it was it was just stuff to add on to the room right and it's one of those like like <laughs> why is this lamp here why is this plant here like and i'm like okay just gotta remove that swap it with something else like uh, you know or like an unnecessary like one too many pillows like it's just goofy things like that you know and it's all it's all a matter of preference really but it's just it's funny that you mentioned like what is what are you doing here because that's the freaking question so, like we have more like that where, where we went to the fence of the warehouse and the queer came over was like like why are there barriers here when the gates are already closed and if the barriers are here how did the hell did the two veins get here he looked at it from a logical standpoint i'm like don't question just delete it next time you get in the files <laughs> fair so with, with that you know let's go back into the community a little bit more with how much different types of like police and mafia and all those other you know types of rps you know was there is there any idea for a potential uh collaborative event um kind of like making i don't know like a storyline or like a story-based event or anything like that um, I think the thing is, the way I see a street gang, and, uh, and I like to call the two sides of the law, the two sides of, like, the enforcement. We have mafias and you got police departments. Gangs put, are literally the gray area, where, like, I I look at stuff like Into the Maverick's movie, 
and I'm like, I tell my co, I tell my second man, like, dude, imagine we made this earlier and we managed to get into this damn movie. He was like, it'd be fun. I'm like, yeah, it'd be funny to have three different types of freaking groups that are just part of like the law. Like, you got the police, you got the mafia, you got the street gangs, and like, it would have been funny to see how three kinds, three different types of those groups will work together in a movie setting. Because the thing with a street gang, and I've seen like Mia, is it's here they have a bone to pick with a certain person from either side. So, like, it makes me wish I could have collaborations with those kind of communities. Like, I would totally love to have a coll- collaboration with the Lari Police Department. Would totally love to. Would love to get in contact with Jerwa about that. Fair. I mean, nine times out of ten, you know. Not to be a cliche, but, like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, you know? So, you never know. I pay gum down. I know that. <laughs> I pay a lot of gum down. I know that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's definitely, I mean, with how big the metaverse is and VR chat itself, you know, there are so many, so many communities out there. You know, and if, you know, one doesn't really, you know, want to collaborate, you know, there's at least like three or four other communities of the same, you know, variety, you know, that may be more in- inclined to actually collaborate. You know, it's just a matter of finding to work with you. Yeah, no, and find a time to work with them or find like a graze on to where both your views on role play work with them. Because I'm a more casual role play person. The thing is about community, it's just like I'm a guy that tries to be a little inclusive to all sides. Like we do not have lore. We don't need to have lore. Somebody asks you, why don't you have lore? It's a street gang. What lore is there to be with the street gang? Mm, I mean, I, I could see that from both POVs, though. You know, maybe have, like, individual members, like, have their own backstory about how they joined the gang. I mean, it just, like I said, it just depends on how you look at it. Hold that thought. You can hold that thought. No, I mean, the gang in general. Like, how to start. I just had an idea. That's it. It, it, So it's not as much as like an in-depth, like, you know, and you said it earlier with like, you know, it's more casual. Um, Like I said, it depends on preference and depends on, you know, what people want to do. I do contribute to the preference of characters, though. We do have a character sheet submission. We do have a character sheet chat in Discord. So anyone actually wants to play a character, they're allowed to. Do you just got me your own character in the character seats? And so we know what to call you if you're in an event or want to do any like light like roleplay stuff. Like we're not like shoving actual roleplay to the side. So there's some aspects of roleplay in there that you can that you are not forced into, but you can attend if you want to. I gotcha. So let, let's dive into that a little more then. You know, what are what are some, you said you do character sheets. You know, what are some examples of like role play aspects that play, you know, different parts within your community? Oh, um, Open Lobby is actually, I think the most role play we ever, role play thing we ever done is like, well, Open Lobby is I do some missions up if there's enough people. So there was one, one point where I was like, before we had a world, I sent my second command and two other members on a mission. Like, okay, go recruit people, go find people. And if you can, send me back LPD officer because I know they're, cause I know they're patrolling right now. So they go, come back over an hour later, said they tried to walk the Kmart, they failed to walk the Kmart, they jumped somebody for no reason, and they didn't find any LPD officers. <laughs> I'd say with, with those, they're uh, definitely a flip of the coin, whether or not they actually show up or not. I would love to bring back. I would love to see them bring back LPD officer. I would have been laughed my ass off. <laughs> Definitely would be an interesting exchange to say the least. Definitely could be a goal, you know. Make it one day to make it happen. Well, there's one thing about that. There's a little struggle with the communities about like being part of open community, like you know, the Winnegates. I do have some LPD members in the group. One of them who left recently, one of them said, was worried about interacting with LPD as, you know, this, you know, as us, since they don't have the instigator role. And I'm like, why would that matter? You're 
under my community rules, you're under my authority throughout the events. It shouldn't matter if you interact with an LPD officer in an instigative way, you're doing it as a community member of my community. You're not doing it as an instigator. These are not instigator avatars. Right. No, I was just... So, and I, tell her, and I tell her, I'm like, if any kind of leadership has a problem with that, they can always come to me and we can talk things out. Fair. And I think it's more of a matter of like, you know, when you're in character in another role play, you are that character. You're not, you know, realistically, it shouldn't be a worry of, oh, well, this person's also this. You know, why are they doing this? That's that's not what that's not what role play is about. You know, um, hey, it's like you see, you're not participating in an LPD event. You're participating in a LR event. Mm hmm. And there's a difference. I gotcha. Um, so speaking of like, speaking of those types of situations, you know, was there, was there ever a point, I guess is, uh, what I'm trying to say, was there ever a point of like conflict of interest when it came to, um, creating little renegades? Because, you know, was, cause you said you were with LPD for a little bit. Um, was there any Two years? three years fair that's a pretty decent long time you know was there any conflict of interest when creating the community uh because it was such a unique premise nope hell some of the people told me that was a fun idea to make something like this fair enough because it might give people that like stuff like lpd more variety i gotcha as, as i say you know with with that you know it's definitely, like I said, it's a, it's a definitely an interesting conversation in that in that sense, you know, because um, as most role players are, they're not dedicated to just one, you know. Nine times out of ten, your your role players, you know, they'll have numerous. Oh, role there are people that dedicated to just one. There are some people dedicated to just one community or one type of role play. Sure, but they're... I've seen it. It's 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 cringy. <laughs> Let's just put that cringy. I mean, to each their own, you know, and some people, they just, they just prefer that role play, you know, but at least from people I've met, you know, when it comes to role players, you know, they, there's, they typically branch out to different, um, role plays, you know, to have different characters and whatnot, you know, so for the oh, most yeah, part, yeah, yeah. You based on the different kinds of role plays, how different kind of experiences that is, I think that's. I think that's the pure experience of role play is it was spoiling different types of it and different characters and different environments. Mm -hmm. I think that's the pure, that's like the true experience of role play, in my opinion. Not just keep yourself in a bubble of like one, one universe. I like to explore other universes and see like, oh, what are they working with? Oh, this sounds cool. Fair enough. I, I, I do got... Uh, and I th I think project community helps with that too. Like find other types of environments to work with. Absolutely. Hello everyone. Just want to interrupt the video right here. Uh, if you'd like to support me on any of my um, variety of content, uh, I do have a throne as well as a Ko-Fi. So make sure you go check that out. I uh, want to thank you all so much for watching. Let's get back into the video. Um, kind of, kind of a goofy question as I'm just thinking of things, you know, because you are based or your community is based off, you know, the whole nineties, two thousands, um, era when it comes to street gangs and music and whatnot. Um, <laughs> this is, this is a, kind of a shit post question, but at the same time, I'm actually curious. Is there ever, I guess my question is, is was there ever a thought of making a, a 90s slash 2000s style. This is going to be so stupid. Don't, don't judge me on this question. Was there ever a chance of thinking of making a 90s to 2000s style music video? And instead of, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm laughing because I, I can't, I can't. Yes, so seriously. Um, Go on. <laughs> was there ever uh, making a 90s, 2000s style music video and call it straight out of VR chat? <laughs> 
No. It's, no, it's, now you it's, brought that up. I don't want to. No, 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 no. It's a, it a goofy question, I'll admit. But it was, it was one that kind of no, popped in that. I, actually, the one thing I wanted to, to, want to do as a film thing is I want to somewhat reimagine the Def Jam 5 for New York intro where everybody's just gathering around. I want to be good. That's so bad. Fair enough. I mean, hey, you know, there's definitely many different types of like VR chat filmmakers, and I guarantee they like you start working with them and tell them your idea. Like, you get enough interest in it, make it, you know, make it a professional like acquisition. You know, don't just be like, hey, you want to shoot a mu- you know, want to shoot a music video now. You know, make it more enjoyable to them. Um, I mean, there's, there's so many of them out there. Like, I guarantee you could probably find somebody to do it. Um, <laughs> found the title of my episode, um, <laughs> straight out of the mm-hmm. meta, straight out of the metaverse featuring little renegades. <laughs> straight out of the poor dimension. Straight out of the poor dimension. Oh man. Um, but no, it's, it's definitely... You know, it's definitely fun to think about these type of things when when I talk to community representatives. Um, Dude, I my funniest idea I've ever had is I brought this up in my second command. And I'm like, dude, if we ever collaborate with LPD in a citywide event, we have to get car avatars. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, dude, we can pull off drive-bys on LPD officers. <laughs> I can like, see so it now. So imagine a freak... So imagine a Cadillac while pulling up at LPD officers with these little guys in it, probably bumping some Sean Paul, and just going out and committing a drive-by at a city-wide event. <laughs> I the, thought that was the f- that would be the funniest thing. I I would I I would love to see that. That'd be a funny video to fucking. Or for the Saints Row inspiration, we don't do anything unless there's action. Because in Saints Row. I remember if she gets into any kind of violence near a gang vehicle, like an opposing gang, they would instantly instigate you. Like, I've had times on this game to run show police shooting near a gang car. All you see is that make an instant K turn, turn around, and start shooting you back. Yeah. I'm also, that was also my pain for a CY. If there was any kind of action, no matter if it's like the criminals, or the police. Like, I want there to be a moment where there's the police having a shot with the criminals, and the criminals are shooting near a gang video, and the gang video just suddenly instinct aggroes, comes by and starts shooting up both the police and the gang members. <laughs> and the <laughs> criminals. <laughs> Definitely interesting. So, what I was, you know, what I was thinking of in that aspect, you know, because you know, there's Def Jam, there's like DJ Hero, where it goes into like the '90s, 2000s music and stuff. You know, I have a friend that was addicted to that. It's it's a fantastic game. I, I can't can't it can't can't it com- uh, recommend it more in that aspect. Um, yeah, no, I, I had a friend named Tim. Shout out to my best friend Tim, by the way. By the way, don't alt it for Kirby Airwide ever again. <laughs> just because you blow yourself up in that game doesn't mean you can alt F4 <laughs> okay how to get that out of the way you better keep that in uh, okay I'll keep I'll it clip in and <laughs> yeah I'll keep it in so yeah no I have been at that he loved DJ DJ here I like the music too mm-hmm. so with, with yeah. that you know um, kind of to go back into the goofy question but in a more serious tense you know, because you, you mentioned, like, you would love to make a Def Jam, you know, intro again, um, you know, and I know you've made some small here and there videos um, for, like, PJKT and stuff. You know, is there any potential chance of, like, you know, maybe going full send with it and, you know, make, I don't know, that seems like a weird question, but, like, make, like, maybe, like, a maybe short series or something, you know. I don't know. That's a weird question, but you know, I'm just I'm just mainly curious at this point. I do. I would love to make a short film series for the gang, like to interact with like other forms of communities and whatnot, it's... like LPD, military groups, like rifle wearer. 
actually fun enough. I get I got arrested by we got arrested by wife over at one point. That was funny. Um, who else? Who? What was the other one? Who they were on? Actually, no, there was no one that was like neighbors with us on Project Community. Uh, Allied uh, yeah, Wife no, Marine Corps. Allied Wife of Marine Corps. Yo, shout out to Allied Wife of Marine Corps. God, yo, they were the most chill and nicest people, and they also had nice tits. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Um, but no, amazing, amazing little cute military community. They were great neighbors uh, during the Plaza community. I hope to see them again this year. Yeah, one can hope. You know, I would say with with Project Community, really the there is no bounds when it comes to you know um let me rephrase that because i i know some of them watch this there is no bounds within reason when it comes to being infinite when it comes to communities you know coming in um as long as it's within reason <laughs> um not gonna go into that but yeah uh there's so many different types of communities out there that essentially they have an equal shot to be a project community you know um it's... everybody does everybody i feel like everybody that's willing to work hard in their community that's willing to show like they actually care deserves a chance like that absolutely so with, with all that in mind you know it's is there any future plans for little renegades uh in the near future um okay plans that i need to write down actually holy crap um besides the fight event um we're trying to more move out to our avatars so our only avatars are now amikos and yukons i i swear if anyone says they're copying out pd i'm sorry but like they're literally the two easiest avatars to work with <laughs> fair like literally i called the miko okamiko this thing i literally called this thing the honda civic of vr chat <laughs> if you could put it on a miko you could put it on any model fair um um but but mars you need to stress out for i want to see if i can get a hapu gang member going and a west gang member going fair other than that the new world's the warehouse district's being worked on project community where we'll probably use like a new booth it's gonna be bigger than the last one i've been we if if you look on true there's some sneak peeks of it We'll, we'll smack something up on the screen. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. so with that, first of all, I want to thank you for coming on the podcast. This was definitely a, a, a good insight when it comes to the Little Renegades community. Um, mm -hmm. So, so f as we are kind of getting closer to the end of the episode, um, I know you've seen a few of the episodes. Uh, so at this point, you know, where can the audience find you? Where can they find your community? You know, where can people find you at? Okay, um, where can people find me at? Um, you can find me individually on Twitter at, you know, the at is literally my VR chat username at Z2TO with capital ZT, lowercase W O, capital T L. Find me on Twitter. I only share memes and shit posts there. So, we'll recommend going there if you're not in the for that. But our community Twitter is. At Little Renegades with a Z at the end. The ad is with a Z at the end. Someone took the regular name. Um, but if you go to our Twitter, you can totally find our group page. Our group page will be vrc.group for assess little dot nine seventy seven one. From there, you can go find the Discord link. And through this call link, you can either stay a civilian or apply for the gang. We accept all applicants. And we are always looking for new people for either regular members or staff. So always hiring, I guess. And find find us at find us at Project Community Festival this year. Look for our booth. Fair. Good self good good plug in. Uh, but yeah, no, I, once again, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. It was definitely interesting. Thank you for having uh, me here. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, so with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, everyone inside and outside the ballpark, this has been episode 13, no 14. This has been episode 14 
of the Nova Notes podcast. I'm already, I'm only 14 episodes in. I'm already starting to lose my numbers. Thank you so much for watching episode 14 of the Nova Notes podcast featuring Z2 here uh, in the Little Renegades community. I mm -hmm. uh, want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment down below. And, you know, if you're already watching some of the other podcast episodes, smack that subscribe button. Why not? You're already coming back to the channel anyways. And I want to thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy and peace.